Hello YouTube, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on my uh, new computer. I got this uh, for Christmas, and what's this? Uh, Runes of Magic. Um, move that down there. Don't worry about that. But, um, yeah, um, so this is a new computer. I've been installing some new programs. You can't see the ones I've already installed, hopefully, because I only want it fixed at this barrier, this bit down here, right above the taskbar. But, um, yeah. And uh been trying to get good cam studio recording uh good cam studio options. But um anyway, uh so what I want to do what I wanted to, what I wanted to show you in this video is that um well how to find out what uh like if you got sixty four bit or thirty two bit. Uh this is Windows. I'm not sure if any of the other like operating systems have that since there's only two there the mass OS X and the Linux 32 slash 64 I'm not sure those are probably the only two versions since they're the only two versions there have no clue what free BSD is so um yeah but uh this is directly focused at Windows because uh, my new computer I didn't know if it was 32 bit or 64 so I'll show you a way to figure that out just uh, go down to start and type dxdiag. It's exactly as it said there, dxdiag. Click that. And sometimes there'll be a screen coming up saying um, something to do with connecting to the internet or something. Just click next or whatever it has there. But um, right here it says operating system. It should have what operating system you have. So I've got Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit. And, um, so yeah, you just need to know that 64 bit. But uh, while I've got you here, just look at my new memory 8 gig of RAM. So uh, hopefully, I'll be posting up some uh, better, uh, not better, but um, more tax, not really taxing, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna say more advanced Splendor videos. I know I've dropped the ball lately, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to pick a pick that back up. Uh, so yeah. Also, if you think my um, the my uh, what's it? My audio is too loud or it's too quiet. Write that down there because um, it's fine to me. But I want to know what you guys think since it doesn't matter to me. It's all the same to me. But to you guys, my viewers, it, it's you're the people that actually have a say. So um. Yeah. Also, if you could uh, recommend a cam studio setup, uh, because as you can see, it's probably la like jumping when it's really, really smooth here for me. I'm I don't like that. I want to try and get rid of that. I've been messing around with a few options, but haven't found a good um good mix yet. So uh, so yeah, once you have uh, your if it's 64 or 32 bit, just click on whichever one you want. Uh, I'm going 64-bit, of course, because, yeah, my 64-bit. Now, I'm not too sure what the difference is between. I think the 64-bit computers are faster, like, it's more faster, but 32-bit's more compatible. Um, if I got that mixed up, please uh, send me a comment saying I'm a dickhead and I, fuck and I screwed it up. But uh, other than that, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, just t thought I might tell you that little trick. Most people probably knew that, but um, so yeah, just go start DX tag without a space. And I'm, um, I think there's another way to do it, but I can't remember at the moment. There's some programs out there that I know can do it, but um, I'm not gonna worry about them. So, uh, yeah, it's just a easy way. I'm pretty sure all, all computers have that. Um, yeah, my other computer has it, this computer has it, so. Yeah, but um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, bye. Sorry, this video dragged out a bit too, but uh, yeah, thanks, bye.